So we're just chopping away the um, last of that dental course. And so what I'm now going to do is uh, obviously fix a load of fur fix on here and I'll just cut them down and fix them on just so we can tie back into the inner leaf there. And then um, I've got three courses going up. I will just double check with the carpenters to see what height they want uh, the sprockets to finish at because obviously I want to finish my brickwork up that height. So you can see I'm going to raise up an extra uh, three maybe four courses along here and the problem we have is this uh, brickwork that we have along here uh, does vary a lot we saw that where we had to cut these 140 blocks to get these in here and you can see that obviously they go back but they were tight on that bit and then as they go around we found that we had like a 30 mil bed so the first thing we're going to do is um, just have a recheck on um, the, uh, the level of the brickwork in relation to the wall plate because the wall plate's gone on level that was all lasered in uh, with the block work so um, just gonna have to scratch my head on that just to see the best way of um, getting over that and then once I've um, got it in my mind what I'm gonna do uh, I will then let's say get the fur fix on and then do a dry bond just to make sure that the new bricks that we have match with the existing uh, for the first free course anyway definitely but then when we get the dental work um, if they do drift a little bit it won't look so bad but we want to try and keep the bond marrying up with um, what we've got down below so uh, that's our first little bit for today okay so I'm just gonna double check what we've got from the wall plate down to the brickwork that we've just done and there I've got 472 okay 472 on that one we'll move along a few meters and here we have well 478 Another three meters along. Back to 72, that's quite good, I quite like this. Uh, about 80, 79, 80 there. So it's gone down a little bit. This is as far as we can go for the moment. Well, one-handed anyway. This is uh, obviously that's where the scaffold came out. When uh, Darren was doing repositioning the arch there. So I've got a bit of a void there at the moment. Anyway, just at this point. And um, 75, I'm quite pleased with that. That's all the way back round to that corner. And we've got a difference of about eight mil the worst, but I think we can get over that. Um, but I will continue round there in a second. So we're the other side of the opening now. Oh, suddenly we have a drop. We're now to 92. So it's about a 20 mil discrepancy there. can't check the rest because this has still got the oversail that's coming off and it's all got to be tidied up before we can actually measure them ones. And we'll just go to the far end and we'll see the dental work we've got to replicate. The scaffold is a great plane. But this is what we're going to replicate. So it's kind of like a normal dental course, but um, you can see we've got stretches in between the headers. So 
what we done today is just um, got the first section of dental work which will be continued all the way through and that's just obviously to establish the height for the end of the rafters so the existing brickwork does uh, vary a little bit um, up and down on level um, by the time you get to um, just past the yellow jacket there uh, there is uh, a big difference in level. We've got about 30 mil. We've got to try and do something with to try and make the roof look right. But this is the detail that we're going to continue going around with.